Okay, here we've got a final of an afternoon uh, black ball tournament. And the two players are just going to lag for break. And we've got uh, Marcellus SP, which stands for Spain, I believe. And a chap called Angel Clear. Now, I don't know what the two of these guys are like at this game. But uh, Black Ball's a variation in, on the pub table games. Still the same objective. Um, you choose the balls that you're going to sink, either yellows or reds. The main objective is to sink the 8-ball at the end of it. There are slight differences in this game to the game of pub though. It's a slightly more attacking game. I mean, you still still try and gather your balls over the pockets and block the pockets, but um, there's uh, a greater penalty for um, committing a foul because, unlike the older pub games where you get two shots, this game you still get the two shots. Your first shot, though, is a free shot, meaning that you can... You can hit any ball, for example, sink the block in yellow that's over that top left pocket. So the table's still open because in the top top of the HUD you can see nobody has a, a colour nominated yet but now that uh, Marcellus has potted a yellow, that's going to be his balls he's got to pot. This table's a tough table, tight pockets, and you're playing with a snooker cue. So Angel Clear has a red tied up next to that yellow at the top end of the screen. All the rest of the reds are in the open, but the important ball here is that yellow blocking the top left hand corner so Angel has to somehow manoeuvre the cue ball to get rid of those um, blockers so in this situation you would say that Marcellus is in control but control can change very quickly and the one thing that happened there is the eight balls now tied up with that red so that that probably evens it out slightly. But now we've got two pockets blocked. So Marcellus is gonna have to make the move first if he wants to win this game. One thing Angel doesn't want to do is to do anything to disturb that eight ball in the red at this moment in time, because that's his um, that's his safety net. Should Marcellus sink these yellows? And Marcellus has given away two shots there. That's a tactical play because he's got his three yellows tied up in that corner pocket and now that means that Angel's got ball in hand and has to decide whether to take the initiative here and try and start moving things but of course that red down at that end of the table where the yellows are is no good to him up there. And 
and now he's got himself in problems. So I, if I was him, I'd be playing. I'd be playing a safety off that red down there. Bring the cue ball back up here, get that red out into the open, and leave the eight ball tied up still. That be the shot to play. I didn't want to do that. So now Marcellus has got two shots and the first shot's a free shot so he's got the choice now where he can actually try and disturb this red and the eight ball. And if he did that first and got lucky he could then pot these three balls and hopefully get on the, the eight. But he didn't think about that so he wasn't thinking about winning the game from that position which is what you really need to be thinking about, especially when these balls were gathered over the corner. So he's no further forward than he was two minutes ago, other than the fact he's just potted a couple of balls and he's going to tie his opponent up behind the yellow. And then he'll have the initiative, provided Angel doesn't get out the snooker. Well, I don't think he's got the snooker. I think... Um, I think Angel can get to this red down the bottom right. Just wants to drop it in because the cue ball's going to be left on that other red, but he's, that's a fatal error there. Although he's got very lucky. Now it's probably worked in his benefit. He's he's now got the eight ball in the open. He's got his opponent snookered. Um, all the reds are portable. And the pressure's now on Angel here. So Marcellus has fouled the eight ball. And Angel's got his two shots again. So let's see what he's made of. See whether he can run the table. And he's now deciding whether to play the ball from the kitchen or the ball carrier or from where it is. I believe that's what he was doing there. This is just a delicate little drop into the corner here. Get the cue ball out, it should be on the red into the middle. And he's just finished the wrong side of it. this is a pressure shot I think he's going to take the bottom red try and cut it across by the looks of it maybe I'm looking at the wrong angle here but it's difficult to see cue ball's going to be heading up the table though oh that's a lovely a lovely bounce there off the jaw and now just needs to stop the cue ball where it is, or after hitting this red, he just kills it there. He's got a shot in eight. Doesn't want to be drawing it up the table or anything. He's let it run there. You see that he didn't quite, uh, he didn't quite go through with the shot there. Had he gone through, he'd have killed the cue ball. He just run through an inch or two. He should still get this though. Oh dear. That was a bit of a disaster. Well, nothing worse than getting all the hard work done, getting to the eight ball and then sinking eight and scratching. So the match is now one frame all and it's a race to three. Um, one thing I forgot to mention there is that player two who's angel clear, this being a handicap tournament, was uh, already getting a rack of a start so that's tied the match up it's now one rack all or one frame all as I tend to use in black ball and a scratch off the break there I believe so the table is still open 
the angels now on the yellows and that's a nice kiss again you can drop this on in soft and keep the cue ball there for that yellow and he's got a bit tight well he's got far too tight He's going for a, a really thin cut, but the angle wasn't there. Now, Marcellus could just drop this red in, just enough paste to knock it in the hole, and the cue ball's going to roll up by the eight ball somewhere. Not he's taken into the bottom pocket. It's going to have to be red in the middle and run the cue ball down off the end rail at the top of the screen but traffic in the way. So that blocks one pocket for the 8-ball. Now you can either play this really delicately and still be on one of the, the yellow into the left-hand corner pocket, but he didn't do either. He's, uh, he didn't really get control of the cue ball there, so he's left himself a distance from this yellow and again difficult to stay on the other one but he's got the kick onto the yellow and that's worked out nice now I would suggest that he has to put a bit of draw on the bottom of this cue ball to avoid colliding with these two reds to keep the cue ball in the open and give him a shot in the eight couldn't avoid it and that's the end result he's kissed off the red sent the cue ball the other way and he's now got no shot in the eight he could he could double it or bank it up and down the table it's not a good bank though so Marcellus is the favorite for this rack provided he can get uh, they can sink one of those two reds. The top red, I think, will go, but you've got to get the right angle on it to make the the potting angle on the red. So that was a sort of hit and hope. He doesn't want to disturb these reds. Let's have a quick look and see. And even at that angle, I don't think he can make the potting angle. It's hard to, to judge. He's desperate to go for this red. I, do, I think he's I think he's cutting that to the, the, the near jaw. He might prove me wrong, but that's what it looks like. Yeah, uh, it was a good effort. But he's got the second prize, he's blocked a pocket and also snookered his opponent on the eight ball. So again, Marcellus is still in control. He's the favourite to win this rack. We'll just change the camera back. And the rack should be over now. Yep. Two racks to one. To Angel Clear. Got away with the bank. I 
didn't quite see what one went in there. Table's still open though, it's a red's gone down. And uh, no real shot on here for Angel. There's a chance to. Uh, maybe not. It might look tight. Yeah, I thought he was maybe going to try and collide with that red and yellow on the left-hand side there, but he's still he still got a ball. It's all about those uh, two balls in the top right and also the two in the bottom left. Somebody's going to have to make a move soon. Marcellus has taken the initiative. Although he's, he's made it slightly worse for himself. He's not one of those reds down to the second red tie the yellow up even more. And he has an angle on this red, not the one that he's looking at there, but the one yeah that one that's uh, away from the pocket in the top left, he had an angle where he could have knocked it onto the red and he was bound to pot the red over the pocket but he could have took the cue ball over into those reds on the right rail and opened things up a bit Does that yellow cut back into this corner, into the middle, sorry? Mm. I think it would have if he'd hit it hard enough.
Now that red that's near the yellow, he could possibly cut that towards the jaw. But disaster for Angel. He's blasted at a ball there. He's given Marcellus ball in hand. The one awkward ball in the table for him is that yellow that he's now going to uh, play. And um, he's rattled it in the jaws, but he's still got a second shot. And he might just want to try tapping that yellow to the other corner. But I don't, it's, it looks like he's determined to try and take this one down the rail. I would leave that where it is at the moment. If he runs this over, this uh, yellow over to the left hand top corner pocket there, that's probably the better move because the cue ball's going to come out. He's going to have a shot on a yellow. Just a question of what one. That's a chance to win the, the frame, and that's a good shot. And now he's got to go for it. He's opened the pocket, there's only one yellow left and now it's just about dropping this yellow in, leaving the cue ball where it is and taking the eight ball across into the middle. And this shot to tie the match up and go to a final frame decider. And he played that well. So, down to the final frame. Two frames all. I think a red dropped into the middle. A yellow's gone into the bottom corner. The table's still open. Um, yellow's obviously here look the best bet. Because again we've got two reds tied up in the left hand rail down the bottom corner here on the left side. And that was a bit of a, a bit of a hash. Sort of choked in that shot, maybe a dodgy mouse. And you see there, Angel decided to take the ball back into Balk or the kitchen, depending where you're from. And um, so he's behind the line. And unlike. Um, normal pub pool, the old fashioned pub that we know from VP3, there isn't a a D like we have in snooker, you know the, the bolt line or the kitchen line plus the D black ball just has a kitchen line so that's him at the extreme edge of it as far up the table as he can go He could have played that better. You can pot the red over the pocket, but uh, again, strategically, it's best left well alone for the time being. And he's actually tied up another red. That cue ball looks precariously in the edge of that pocket. Red cuts back into that middle. And now you can push this red that's to the left of the yellow over the middle. You can push it down towards the other one. But he's decided on a sort of attacking type safety. Try to split the reds. 
but in actual fact he's handed his opponent a, a, an invitation to go to win the match now the one um, problem ball is going to be the yellow that's to the right of the red on the left hand uh, middle pocket I don't think it passes that red I can have a quick look round to see I, I doubt it, no, there's no way it's going to go there so um, and the other problem is, is that there's still balls blocking corner pockets in this left hand side as well and he has got an angle to try and go over to that side of the table and try and get behind that yellow and he's tied it up even more but he's again got the bonus of um, blocking the bottom right hand pocket and Marcellus commits the foul by uh, sinking his opponent's ball I think the way he sees it, he's opened up the the table a bit more for himself. However, Angel has to, I would say, and I, I would actually play this ball from here. You can come off the right edge of that yellow, bank it onto the side rail and out, and leave it into that. Uh, bottom or top left hand corner as we look at it the cue ball is going to go over to the right he just has to be careful of the and off I think uh, hopefully he's seen that shot but that that's a shot to make this yellow uh, portable can you see the edge of it yeah I think he can I'm, I'm surprised he's not going for it because this is as good an opportunity as any and uh, having said that he's went for his yellow that was over the corner he's sunk it and he's scratched so Angel again with a free shot eh, sorry Marcellus now again that red over the middle he has a choice of uh, trying to get an angle on another red to collide with that and make it more open or just leave it tied up until they get down to the wire now this final frame is in the balance right now but that hasn't um, well it's helped Angel's cause slightly because um, the yellow's away from the red but he's only got one pocket it's going to go into and that's very tough down the rail if he managed to get the cue ball over there he might not get back to the table though Just drop the red into the middle, leave the cue ball on the rail, drop the the top red into the corner. That should be the shot. No, he shouldn't be looking at those two. He needs to take that one down the rail first. That's the one I'd be going for. He's not paying it any attention, but maybe he knows better now this is a problem because the cue ball wants to run away from an easy potting angle on that red down at the bottom he should have taken that one first and now he's queuing over the red
now the pressure's really on. He's got a fine cut on this red down the rail, and he's got it. He's got to drop it in pocket weight because these these balls won't drop in these pockets. They'll hang on the the edge of the shelf. That's a good shot. And on, on this shot, he's got a very strong in-off here. If he plays the pot and angle to pot this eight ball into the left-hand corner. So he's chosen to bank it. It's all or nothing. And that's a beautiful bank. And that's well done. Marcellus wins by three frames to two on the afternoon black ball tournament.